What's up, my gang? It's your boy Macy Odio back with another hard beat tour, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make a beat like ATL Jacob. Well, basically, I'm gonna show you a breakdown of a beat that I made like ATL Jacob. Pretty crazy. I can really hear future on this, but before we get started, make sure y'all like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and follow me on Instagram at Macy Odio. So let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. The first sound that I used was these ambit lead, and here you go the pattern that I created. And I'm gonna show y'all how I created this. So what I did was create a minor chord over here. Okay, that's my minor chord. I copied it over. And then I went over here to A flat. It's a minor chord as well. I duplicated that over. And then I went back to my E flat chord again. And then after that, I created a diminished F chord. Okay, after that, I took my middle notes and I brought them up. I hold two octaves. And then my bass notes, I duplicated those. And then what I did with the B flat and the B is duplicated it up again. And then I took away these E notes right here. Then after that, I just put in some little filler notes. And basically the same chord pattern over here. So let's get rid of that and go on to the next step. So we back again with the same pad sound and all I did was kept the first chord and just move the notes around and created like a top line melody. Okay, the next sound I got is this accent sound and it's called ebony and it's like an eerie type of sound. It ain't nothing too special. Okay, after that, I went to these bells inside Analog Lab 5 called Blue Book and this is what they sound like. And they are basically triplets. I just went to one third step and created some triplets at the end. Basically the same thing. And then after that, I created another pattern of that. And this is what it sound like. And it's way faster than the first one. Next, I found these pads. And they call blur. I like these pads because they got a little swell to them. Sound pretty good. Next, we got this flute called Strawberry Flutes. Then I uh, used another analog lab and found these art right here. And it's called Boards of Selena. Okay, once I created that art, I found this accent inside PG's Cadence One Shot Kit. I used that to kind of put that in the background to fill out some space. And then last but not least is the sub bass that I got out. Omnisphere, and it's that Moog bass. And I did put an effect on it, Shaper Box. And this would it sound like all together. Got the melodies and everything out the way. Let's go into the drums. Okay, what I used first was the 808. Then I went to the kick and create this little kick pattern. Yeah, that right there bounces hard. I got this basic clap pattern layered with this snare, and the snare have like little bounce notes and notes that are off the clap, like hidden off the clap. So you feel to hear it. OK, 
Okay, and next we got our hi-hat pattern. Nothing too crazy, something just real like subtle like. Okay, and now I got my bounce open hat with like an extra note. And then I added one more open hat. Well, this is the second open hat. I'm gonna just say that. And then I got a reverse open hat. And that right there hits right before the regular open hat. Okay, now I broke the entire beat down. Let's go ahead and play it from the beginning. I really hope y'all like this ATL beat breakdown tutorial. I can really hear Fruit on this beat. And if y'all want to, y'all can use some of these melodies to like create like y'all own production uh, beat or whatever. And if y'all know anybody that need help with tutorials, just send them to my channel. And y'all don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Maceo underscore Dior and subscribe to this channel. I will be dropping more heat, more bangers for y'all. So y'all stay tuned and I will see y'all again. Adios, my gang.